Welcome back to the channel. My name is Avon. Welcome back to Football Manager 2021 and Eastern Bridge Agents 2 with Star Wars Bucharest. We are into February of 2027. We're going to take an Astra in today's game. Just one game on camera today. Uh, just an elite game against Astra who is 7th. We are top of the table with the game in hand. Um, we had a bit of a slow start after the winter break, but thankfully managed to... Uh, to pull some results out of the bag. So we'll go through the fixtures that we played off camera. I've got a new signing to show you as well. So we'll go through him. And um, I think there's a couple of youngsters that might have joined the club as well. So a little bit of transfer news. A few games from off camera. And today's game uh, live is against Astra. And if you enjoyed the series, do drop a like down below. Leave comments. They're the best ways to support and help the channel. If you haven't done so already or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn on notifications. We're less than 30 subs from 1,000. If we get 1,000 by the end of June, by the end of this month, then I'm going to gift a copy of Football Manager out of my own pocket to someone in one of the videos. Uh, if we get to 1,000 subs before the end of the month, I'll do a giveaway and one lucky person will win Football Manager. So last episode, we defeated Viterod two goals to nil in our final game before we went on the Christmas break. 2-0 win, Dinoza and Vasilescu getting the goals. I played six league games off camera, but let's first of all look at some transfer news. Um, a number of players have gone out on loan, including some first-team players. So Radim Vandas has gone on loan to Concordia Kiazna for the rest of this season. He just wasn't playing. He had one appearance for me this season, so he just wasn't playing. And the same goes for Konstantin Grameni as well. He's gone to Petrol or PSG. He's only had six appearances for us. One of them was a start. They're just not going to get game time for me, so I've decided to loan them out and maybe we'll get them to move permanently in the summer. But we have brought in two players, the first of which is Francesco Martina, who is a Czech midfielder that we picked up for next to no money. £48,500 uh, compensation. It was a pre-contract from Slov Slovan Liberec in the Czech Republic. He's a central midfielder, and um, I'm really pleased at how this guy looks. Apparently he's a mercenary. I don't really know what that means, because I thought a mercenary was like a, a player that went to loads of different clubs, like an Inelka. I thought that's what a mercenary was, but this guy's been at Slovan his whole career. And he's just joined us. So I don't know what the, what a mercenary actually means. But I like how this guy looks. 15 first touch, 13 passing, 14 technique, decent leadership, good vision, great balance, aggressive. He's a really good looking central midfielder and he's just 20 as well. We also brought in a young defender from the Czech Republic. This is Andre Bisiste or Bichiste. I'm not quite sure how you say his second name. But he's just 17 years old. He's also Czech. He's cost £47,000 from Sparta Prague. And looks decent for his age. Decent physicals at the time. Mentals aren't too bad. Uh, not bad in a tackling. Marking is at least double figures. Headings nine. And, you know, I'm sure that will increase with time. He's a promising centre-back. So, yeah, definitely one for the future there. And it hasn't cost us too much money. Still a bit of time left in the window. I don't think we need anything for the first team. I think a backup for the left might be a good idea. We still have money in the bank because we did manage to get the boards to increase our transfer budget. And next season, I think we're going to have about the same sort of money. So that's good to see. Also, um, the training facilities are being worked on. So, you know, we've got that coming up as well. We're in a really good place. Uh, you know, we've got the Europa League knockouts coming soon. Uh, still waiting for our draw for that because we're into the second uh, knockout round. I'm not sure when that draw is, actually. It might be worth seeing when that is. Uh, so the draw is on the 26th. So it's in a couple of weeks. So what I think we'll do is I think we'll tag that onto the start of next video. Because I think next video we're going to have either one or both legs of that Europa Conference League game. So I think we'll tag that on to the start of next video maybe. But as mentioned, we did play six matches off camera, all of which were league games. As I said, a bit of a slow start after coming back from the winter break, but it did manage to get some better results. The first up, it was a draw away from home against uh, Universitatia Tatia Croyova. Uh, we did well here, just only managed the one goal, would have liked to score more. Um, and unfortunately went away with just a point. Nezovic scored inside four minutes to give us a 1-0 lead. And then um, Kroyova's equaliser came from a penalty, which wasn't a penalty. It just wasn't a penalty. It was Ivan who converted it. Like, the ball was won by, I think it was Lukovic. And the referee went to the monitors. VAR said it's a penalty. So it, it wasn't, but that's the way it goes. We drew our next match as well at home against rivals FCSB. Um, this was a close one. We defended well here. FCSB, you know, created chances, got a couple of goals. It was a close match and I think a draw was fair. But, um, you know, we were leading up until the 86th minute. 
Although it was actually FCSB that took a lead through Roshu uh, in just the seventh minute. Nezovic equalised on 18 minutes and it was 2-1 just 10 minutes later as uh, Taufik Ishmael scored to make it 2-1. And then, as mentioned, yeah, we, we led until the 86th minute and then Cryu with the goal for FCSB to equalise. Um, they probably, they out xg us in the game, didn't have as much possession. Um, but, you know, we managed to defend pretty well. Um, I'm pleased with how we did, just would have liked to win against our rivals, obviously. Then it was back to Sepsi, and they've done the double over us this season. When was the last time that we lost to the same side twice in this season? I don't know. I really don't know. But we were not great at all in this game against Sepsi. A 2-0 defeat. Memic and Chaoshu uh, with the second half goals, 56th minute and the 86th minute. And yeah, we were just weak in this one. Uh, barely created anything going forward. Just one shot on target. It was just a bad display. And again, I think our problem here is unsuccessful crossing. 22 unsuccessful crosses. It's just not good enough. Thankfully, after that, we did have a couple of more favourable fixtures. First up, it was a win at home against Repensia Timishvara. Uh, four goals to one, which means that over the two games, we have scored 10 goals against them. And poor Martin Okov scored no goal again. It was 2-0 on 36 minutes as we won a penalty that was converted by Ismail. And then he scored his second of the game in the second half to make it 3-0, but it was on 54 minutes. Not long after that, Repensia did manage to come into the game with a goal, Vasiluian, with uh, that goal on 57 minutes. And not long after that, we scored our fourth through Vasilescu, who's had a pretty good goal return this season. I think he's got five or six goals. He's actually doing really well. And... You know, really like growing into the team. He's been sort of in and out, you know, starting games and being on the bench in some games. But he's impressed me this season. He's had his best season in a uh, style shirt for sure. But a 4-1 win at home against Repensia, much needed after three games without a win. Then we hosted Botashani, another game where we were expected to win. Got two early goals, but struggled after that. And it was a first stour goal for Francesco Martino, who gave us the lead inside two minutes. The other goal came from Václav Petrik, who's um, struggled to get on the score sheet this season. I think he's only got three or four, but he made it 2-0 on 11 minutes, and that was all she wrote. Just struggled to put chances away in the second half. We had 10 shots on target, but... We struggled to put them away um you know and they weren't even that good defensively we just couldn't finish them off and then it was a frustrating game away against Hermannstadt, who played most of the match with 10 men aielda has got a straight red card on 11 minutes and they were playing for 10 men for well 80 percent of the match not almost 90 percent of the match and we just could not score we just could not put the ball in the net and it was actually the 10 men of Hermannstadt that took a lead less than a minute into the second half of mihai so we were staring down the barrel of a defeat against 10 men. But thankfully, Dinoza, who's been in a bad patch of form after after Christmas, managed to equalise on 53 minutes to, to you know save a point, which against 10 men <laughs> is not good enough. It was a midfielder that got sent off. So I think they moved one of the wingers uh, off to bring on a midfielder. So they still had a pretty good defensive setup. But I think they just they played for the point. They played for the draw and you know almost won. They were leading. But it's been a patchy spell of form. We had our first defeat in a while, that loss against Sepsi. The first time we've lost away from home this season. All our other defeats have been in, in our own crowd. Uh, but as you saw at the start, we are top of the table and we have a game in hand. So we could get a four-point lead over FCSB if we beat Astra in this game, who sit in seventh currently. Okay, so in team news, Manalake suspended today. So we're going to start Ilya Nikolic, who has had a run of games in the first team, started a few matches, and did pretty well. So we're going to leave him in today. Uh, Morong is back in the side. He spent some time with the Gambia at the African Cup of Nations. Played a couple of matches. Didn't do too well out there. But Gambia did manage to get to the quarterfinals. Uh, Martina has been playing in that central midfield spot. Morong's back into the team. This is what I mean. Dinoza has struggled recently. He did manage to equalise against Hermannstadt. But had a really bad run of games. So much so that I think we're actually going to start August Mickelson. Just to see what he can do. Because we haven't really given him a fair chance. He's only started two games, so we're going to give him a chance today and see what he can do. We should be strong favourites for this as well, so I'm expecting them to get three points here. If they don't, then it's not going to be good for them. Okay, Nikolic wins the ball in the air. And Martina, maybe with a chance to break here. He's got players ahead of him. He's gone for goal. It wasn't great. Didn't really have much more options, really. Didn't hold it up for long enough. One thing we have been employing recently is a much higher tempo. Like, we've had lots of possession against some of these sides, like 70% at some points. And we just really pushed that tempo up to, like, extremely high. And, you know, it worked against those sides where we were favourites, against, like, Botashani and against Repensia. Here, you know, we've had lots of the ball, but shots-wise, we're about the same right now. 
And Nikolic looking to go long. Ismail wins the header. And here's Martina. And it's going to send the ball out wide for Lovren Nezovic, who is our top scorer at the moment. 20 goals for him. And can he set up Martina? He can, but Martina's shot is blocked. Cimpiano will hopefully win this in the air. Um, I think he did. Okay, half-time, nil-nil. Not a lot to talk about in that first half, really. It was pretty poor. We had four shots on target, but I don't think we saw any of them, did we? So I need to see a better second half. So I think we are going to employ that very high tempo and just try and, you know, out like outwork them if we can. Outwork everyone. Got an early corner here in the second half with Ismail. Doesn't meet the head of a star player, though. We've scored one or two set-piece goals this season, but defenders' goals have been... You know, few and far between recently, and they've gone up the other end. And they've scored. I don't think it's going to count, though. That's what happened against Hermannstadt, though. And they had 10 men. They won the header from the corner, and they broke and scored very early in the second half. Much like this one. But this one's been disallowed, thankfully. Still yet to break this side down, but we haven't been that bad. We haven't had any really poor performers. We just can't put the ball in the net. Let's try Martina as an advanced playmaker. He does prefer playmaker, I think, to being like a central midfielder. So let's see if we can maybe get something with that. And we're going to go attacking and hopefully get a goal here. We've got a throw in though, 67 minutes. Here's Nedele, who's been brought down by Beletsa. Nikolic will get to that first, thankfully. Here's Morong to Nedele. The Gambian gets it back. Okay, this is good build-up. Hopefully this will result in a goal. Morong gets it back. Here's Nezovic. Lukovic now joins the attack. Mikkelsen! Oh, wow, what a pick. We brought him in for Denosa and he scored his first goal for us. August Mikkelsen gives us a lead. In a game where it's been a long time coming, we haven't been bad in this one. We just can't finish these guys off. We can't put these chances away. But um, good passing play there. And Mickelson, about 12 yards out, gets the finish away into the goal. 68 minutes. We finally have a lead. And let's try and hold on to it. Um, I think we'll bring off Nezovic just to give him a bit of a rest. He's very tired. We'll bring on Dinoza for the left, I think. Uh, Mickelson's also tired as well, though. So maybe we'll... Bring Dinoza the on there. You'll make it, we'll make a double change out wide. We'll bring on Dinoza and we'll bring on Bordier. I mean, thankfully, Astra haven't been too good themselves. They had the ball in the net that was disallowed. Otherwise, they've really not had an impact on the game. We just haven't been able to break them down until Mikkelsen got that goal. But here's Martina to Morong. Maybe a chance to get a second here with about 12 minutes left of the 90. Nedalea does well to win the ball there. And the ball comes out to Exxon Dinoza, who's scored plenty of goals this season. Just been in a bit of bad form since the winter break. Big clearance by Panar. And Morong will try again here. Martina. Great ball for Bordea. And oh, it sneaked in at the near post. And Matidas, the keeper, will be disappointed by that. Gabriel Bordea gets the second goal. And that looks like it might be game over now. And good to see him on the score sheet. He scored one or two goals for us. And he's slowly building his way into the first team. He's getting starts. He's getting games off the bench. He's playing in those cup games. And yeah, he's definitely got a future in this team. Absolutely. Now I think we'll go for a praise. And I think we'll bring off uh, Morong. Just to you know keep that freshness in midfield. A uh, good thing about Martina as well is that he's a left-footed midfielder. That's something we really need. Gromed is the only one we have. And he's out of the club now. So to have a left-sided midfielder is very, very nice. And there might be a chance for a third in here in stoppage time. Ismail doesn't win the header though. Here's Adams to Bukur and Berloy Ditsu. This would just be a consolation, you think, if they do manage to get forward and score here. They really haven't offered much in this game at all, just apart from that disallowed goal. But they're passing the ball well here, and there might be a, a chance on the cards for them here. Canadija, Palade, and Ditsu's going to get to that, and it's straight into the hands of Goran Erez. First thing he's really had to do. It's not going to count anyway. It's offside again. But despite a frustrating first half, we have managed to come away with three points and a 2-0 win. Mickelson and Bourdais are getting the goals as well. Two of the most unlikely scorers, I think, in the team. Um, but yeah, nice to see them on the score sheet. Bordea, how many goals does he have for us now? He scored one in the league last season, which I think was our penultimate game where we'd already won the league. And he scored two in the cup as well. So that's his first league goal this season. And that does give us a four-point lead at the top of the table as well. So that's excellent news. Um, Nezovic did pick up a bit of a knock. So he's going to miss He's going to miss the Dynamo game. He's going to miss the Eternal Derby. Uh, maybe the Petrol or match as well. But I think we'll just get, send him to the physio. And we should have him back hopefully soon. But I've been really pleased with the signings. Like especially the big, the big signings we made this season. Zubile at right back. And uh, Lukovic, the left back, have been great this season. Martina has just joined us in January. He's already like fit into the team like a glove. 
Those three players have been like some really good business, I think. So, big three points there. We've got the Eternal Derby next. We've got Petrol, we've got that cup game against Kindia, and then UTA Arad. And also the draw will be in there for the Europa Conference League second knockout draw, which we are in. So I'm going to add that onto the start of next episode. And next episode, we're going to have at least one leg of that Europa Conference League knockout match. I might fit both in there, but it might end up being a long video that way, especially with four or five games off camera. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below, leave comments. And if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn on notifications. And as mentioned, if we manage to get a thousand subs before the end of June, before the end of this month, then one lucky person is going to win a copy of Football Manager 2021 from my own pocket. I'm going to gift it to uh, one lucky person. In, um, in the video if we get a thousand subs before the end of june but next episode we'll start the knockout stages of the europa conference league uh we're gonna uh, show the draw so you'll see who we're gonna face and then we're gonna jump straight into the first leg and honestly i didn't see us getting this far i wasn't sure we'd get through our group and we ended up going through our group without defeat so i've got no idea who we're gonna face but let's enjoy it uh, but that's gonna do it for today's video thank you for watching i'll see you soon goodbye